Hey, I'm family travel expert, Julia Diamond. And today we're talking about Belize with kids. Now, Belize is known for its Mayan ruins, its Jaguar Reserve, and it has the longest barrier reef system in the Western Hemisphere, so some incredible diving and snorkeling. It's a short flight from the US, it's an English speaking country, so it's easy to navigate, and it's becoming one of the hottest family travel destinations for the year. I recently took my own two kiddos, and here were some of our favorite things to do when in Belize. So we flew into Belize City, then we took a 20 minute connecting flight south to Placencia. Placencia is located in southeastern Belize on the Caribbean coast, and it's 16 miles of gorgeous sand beaches. Placencia is this laid back fishing village with a really cool local vibe. Great restaurants, local art, and it's a gateway to some incredible wildlife experiences. In terms of restaurants and nightlife, two of my favorite family-friendly spots were Aphrodite and Tipsy Tuna. Now, Aphrodite is this cool piano bar where parents can sip locally brewed rum while the kids play. And Tipsy Tuna is right on the beach, great restaurant, and has nightly entertainment. One of my favorite things about Placencia Village is their boardwalk. I mean, it's just a tiny little street so kids can safely stroll down and they can stop um, and talk to artisans who are weaving baskets or maybe making jewelry with conch shells. My kids just loved shopping for souvenirs. So many cool arts and crafts. If you'd like to go to the jungle, have a nice day trip with the fam, check out Belize Ocean Club's Monkey River Tour. It's a boat tour up the river and it gets you up close and personal with some of the animals in the area, from dolphins to manatees, iguanas to monkeys. Oh, oh there's a dolphin! I know, that was the dolphin. About an hour into the tour, your whole team will get out and you'll do a very simple walk through the jungle. My kids followed those guides and uh, they were on a mission to find howler monkeys. <coughs> The kids even got a chance to try termite. Grab one. Just grab it. All right, eat it. Tell me what it tastes like. <laughs> yep, that's right. They won't eat their vegetables, but they, they love termites. Do it. What does it taste like? Lick it. Lick it up. I want to try another one. Yeah, yeah. Stella, watch. So a must do is to rent a boat or go on a private tour where you can go and see some of the keys turquoise waters, white sandy beaches, incredible snorkeling. It's a must do when in Placencia. Unbelievable snorkeling is found at Silk Key. Two turtles at the same spot. This was definitely the highlight of the trip. We got into the water, saw big beautiful turtles, manta rays, nurse sharks. It really fostered an appreciation for the ocean. Part of me was a bit concerned that snorkeling with my four-year-old, she just wouldn't be ready for it. But what we did was we bought um, kids snorkeling gear just off of Amazon, and we actually practiced before we left in the bathtub. So by the time that we got to Belize, you know, our little one was in the water and was a pro, and she loved it. Really, get your kids in snorkel gear. It's such an amazing experience. Don't wait, you know, put them in the water and see how they do. Be sure your boat takes you to Ray K for an incredible restaurant called Lionfish Grill. There you can, you know, order up virgin daiquiris for the kids, play games of giant uno, take a dip in their pool, and also enjoy their beautiful sandy beach. Super shallow for little swimmers, plus they can just wade out in the water and look for sea stars. When you're on your boat tour, another place to stop is King Louis. So this is a pirate themed island. So if your kids love pirates, I mean, it's, it's paradise. Um, you know, you can go on treasure hunts and you know fight with all these statues and really recreate what life on a private island in the Caribbean would be like. Um, it's actually a hotel as well. So you can stay on the island. There's a restaurant, bar, and this really cool swing that hangs out over the Caribbean ocean um, where you can just spend the day, catch some sun, and uh, you know, channel your inner pirate. So some things to pack on your boat trip. Those UV protected long sleeve shirts for the kids to keep them you know, protected from the sun. Mosquito repellent. The mosquitoes are terrible around dusk time. And what we loved was this transparent boat that we got um, for our little one. He was too young to snorkel, so we put him in the boat and he can still participate looking into the ocean while we're snorkeling beside him. 
really cool thing to have on your trip. So best part is that being on the water is going to exhaust your children. This is a sign of a pretty great day. For accommodation, there are a lot of all-inclusives that you can stay at, but we opted for this locally run spot called the Brisa Oceano Resort. It is smack in the middle of the village of Placencia. So you can just walk out and get ice cream or pizza. It's right on the beach and it's great for families because there's large living spaces and even kitchen facilities. So you can save a bit of money and cook at home. And right outside the hotel at dusk, you'll be treated to a great performance from local musicians. So overall, Placencia in Belize is a great choice for family travel. It's laid back, it doesn't have that you know, touristy feel. It's a hidden gem in the country. Unbelievable access to wildlife. You know, the kids just had a blast. It's, everything is picture perfect. It's amazing for Instagram. And it's super, super affordable. Um, so I say if you're looking for another trip coming up with the kids, consider Belize. It sure won't disappoint.